guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. This video is for you today. If you've got this pain in between those shoulder blades that feels like a knot or tight or can't let you breathe well and you find yourself kind of walking around like this during the day trying to get that to release and eventually you look like John Lovitz in The Wedding Singer. So we have three steps today that we're gonna go over to get rid of that. And the order is super duper important too. So clearly we will start with number one first, and it is a soft tissue release. I have found a lot of times that the spine itself doesn't wanna let go if those muscles are really holding on and grabbing. So we're gonna use a couple of tennis balls in a sock, very old fashioned and hopefully cheap for you. And we're gonna do that right against the wall. Okay, so starting with that soft tissue release, we're gonna take two tennis balls. I've got one in here already, and clearly, I know I have big feet, but mine are not this big. So a stretched out sock is best. I'm gonna place the other one in there. You can use a nylon too, because those are nice and stretchy. But when we do this, we're gonna leave just a little bit of space in between these, because that is where the spine will go. So the tennis balls will rest or be on either side of the spine, and that little gap is for the spine. And then clearly I'm gonna tie it so they don't fall out. Finding a wall or a door, and that's where the tennis balls will go, like I said, right beside the spine in those yucky spots. We're gonna start by bringing our feet out just a touch. You can start with just a roll up and down, trying to keep your back relatively flat towards the wall. This should be like a good pain or a no pain, but certainly feel relatively good. And then to add a little bit more, you can go, oh, okay, well that's kind of the spot there. And then you can even add a little arm movement, which will give you a little bit of an active, really release into those muscles also. So you're gonna do this until you go, oh, those muscles don't feel so bad anymore. And then we are on to step two. All right, step two is now actually actually, hmm, new word, actually releasing the spine itself. And there's a couple ways that we're gonna go about doing this. Now you need to know also that the spine, we want it to try to get to extend as well as rotate because the spine does those things. So we want to loosen all of those things up. So that's why these mobilizations will actually address both of those things. This first one, and actually these first two, the first one on the, on the floor, is going to, are going to, boy my grammar is terrible, are going to open up the spine into that extension so that we're no longer here with our T-Rex arms, okay? If you have a chair in your office or at home with a back that doesn't go all the way up, you're going to put a towel there for comfort if you need it. Cross those arms only if this behind the head is uncomfortable. The reason I like behind the head is because you get to open up that chest a little bit too, right? Break out of this position a little bit more. But if your shoulder's bothering you, stay right here. So hands behind the head, and you're actually just going to let yourself open up those elbows and come right back against the chair. Now you're just holding it for a second or two and coming back up. And of course you're breathing. I think it works best if you take a nice breath in and then exhale as you come back. About five to 10 repetitions of that. Now, if you don't have a chair with a backrest like this, right? It, maybe it goes all the way up or it's super duper low, like my broken chair without a backrest. If you have one of these 99 cent balls or even like a basketball or a soccer ball, you can take that behind your back and then you can lean right into that. Same idea, try to get those arms above the head if it feels comfortable to do so. And the firmer the ball, the more likely you'll get that nice little pop, <laughs> if you couldn't hear that over video there. All right, so that's number one. Number two, if you don't like that and it feels more comfortable to get on the ground, is going to be with a foam roller. Okay, if you don't like the chair one, and sometimes people just don't and that's okay, the other option to get that extension is with a foam roller. Now you can have a short one, you can have a long one, it doesn't matter because it's gonna go this away over the back, or you're going to go that away over it. So you want this positioned roughly around the bra strap, shoulder blade level there. You're gonna let your body rest on it a little bit, and then lifting that butt up already gives you a little bit more pressure. So same idea, if it's comfortable, bring those hands behind the head. Now you're actually gonna roll a little bit and you may go, oh, I feel like that's the spot right there. If it is, now try to let yourself extend over that roller without pain, right? That's important. And if you go, oh, it's not quite right, 
Then you can go ahead and even extend, oh, there it goes, yay, woohoo! Then you can go ahead and extend those arms overhead and that gets a little bit of a deeper adjustment. And once you get that, you're done. And then we're gonna move on to the last little adjustment you wanna do, which is a rotational one. All right, for the last little mobilization part, we wanna get that rotational component. And I have found that one of the easiest ways to do this is with your good old pool noodle. And we even have these in New Hampshire, even though we have winter most of the year. I usually just take one, you can chop it off so that it's just a little small length. The other option, if you don't wanna do this or don't have one of these, is to take a towel, roll it up really tight, and sometimes I'll even put duct tape over it so that it's a little bit firmer also. Even just a styrofoam little um, cylinder that you can get at like a craft store would work too. But you do also, I'm gonna show you one side, but just know that you wanna do this on both sides because a lot of times you're kinda of stuck in both directions. So, foam roller, excuse me, no, noodle. I am gonna rotate in that direction. So when I put this little pool noodle down, I actually want it off to the side just a touch so that when I roll over, it's gonna be now towards the middle of that spine and that's where you get that little pop, pop, pop going, okay? So starting on my left side, I've got the roller adjusted off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna bring that top leg up as long as it's comfortable. You can always keep it down also if that's better. And then I'm actually gonna roll, oh yay, right over and come back. So this is one that you don't really hold just like the chair. I need to adjust that just a touch and you may find that you have to experiment a little bit with that too and then you're just coming back and forth. If you get that little pop or you feel like, oh yes, that feels good, you're done. You don't have to do any more. But usually it takes you know three or four reps, something like that to make a difference. All right, so there's the mobilizations. And then the last thing you wanna follow that up with a stretch just to keep everything nice and loosey goosey. All right, for the last part, we're gonna get it a little stretched out. So you wanna have a nice firm wall or somewhat firm door to sit against, trying to get your back against there, squeezing those shoulder blades back. And then I'm actually gonna bring my arms like goalposts against the wall or door. Hopefully they're not way out here, but they may start that way a little bit because those pec muscles may be a little bit tight too, right? Part of this is posture and we're working on that. So you're gonna bring those arms up as much as you can, and if they really start to go away from that wall, don't go up too far. And then squeeze those shoulders, come all the way back down. You're gonna try for about five reps or so, and you should notice that your arms probably get a little bit closer to that wall as you go. And you might even be able to get up a little bit higher with those arms. This does feel good, especially after doing those first two. And then once you've done that, the last thing you're gonna do is clasp those hands in front of you, and you're gonna kind of round those shoulders forward just to get in between those shoulder blades a little bit more of that kind of counter pose, and then roll those shoulders back, and you are done. Thank you so much for watching today. If you would like to support me as well as reduce some pain and get rid of the appearance of that cellulite, click the link below to order your own Derma Edge a device that I created and patented when I was going through the middle of Lyme disease in a lot of pain and needed a way to work on my own body. So the shape of the Derma Edge allows you to get all body parts in a gentle way. We're getting that fluid moving in between the layers, which helps you move better, helps get rid of that pain, and decreases that bumpiness of the cellulite. So make sure to click the link below to order your own.